we tend to think that gifts belong to other people. Pe other people are psychic. or Other people are connected to the angels. Other people can channel, but not me. I'm not gifted. That's how we tend to feel. But one of my passions is truly getting people to understand, mm -mm, we all have the gifts. We all have all of the gifts. We all have abilities. And we came here to use those abilities. I'm not saying we, we came here to all be psychics. Of course not. But we came here to use our natural, built-in, intuitive system. We're all connected. We're all connected to each other. And we are connected to that which is higher than I, the source of all things, that which we would call creator or we would call God. We are connected to that. And when you really plug into that, when you understand it and begin to practice it in your life, miracles truly start to happen. This is what Christ was saying when he said, seek first the kingdom of heaven and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek first your connection to source energy. Seek first your connection to the divine. And everything else just begins to sort itself out. Your bills start to sort themselves out. Your bank account sorts itself out. Your health and your wellness starts to sort itself out. Relationships also, you'll find, when you plug in, will start to sort themselves out. Everything adjusts and accommodates to your connection to the divine. And so that's what's possible for all of us, for each and every one of us. It's not just for the gifted. You are the gifted. We are the light workers. Now, the term light worker is kind of going out. It's kind of a new age buzz term now. And I'm, now I'm like, Ugh, do I even want to use the word light worker anymore? It's kind of in, in vogue, right? But a light worker, the term itself can confuse people because people focus on the word work. Like, oh, I'm, I've got to do spiritual work. I've got to be in a spiritual ministry. I've got to be doing something in order to be a light worker. That's not it. That's not what a light worker is. You're already a light worker because you have light. We all have light. That's what we are. We're energy. We're just energy that's taken a specific form, and this form is our physical body. But we're made of light, and we came here to shine that light in whatever way we can do it. Like maybe that's for you. Maybe that's through your cooking. Maybe it's through your singing. Maybe it's through your ability to handle people's accounts and make them happy and make them whole. I don't know what your gift or your talent is, but you came to share something. We are all light workers. It's not about what we're doing. It's about how we're doing. It's about finding those things in our lives that make us feel connected to God. What is God? Love. God is love. And in this human experience, in this human body, the closest approximation we can come to feeling God in our experience is through love and being love, being in love, finding ways to love. That's God. When we do that in our life, when we find what it is in our life that makes us feel this joy and this connection and this love, that's light work. It's about finding what that is for you. Plugging into it, doing it more, and then just being in that high vibration of joy and love. And then going to work with that high vibration. Or driving your car with that high vibration of love. Or going to dinner, or being with your family, or being with your children. That's all you have to do, and it's powerful. This, my friends, is how we're going to change things. I was just up in my group, the Light Workers Lab, which I want you to join, last night talking about how regular people who wouldn't necessarily call themselves spiritual are noticing how crazy our world feels. And doesn't it feel weird? I was saying that there's kind of this dense energy, this icky, sticky energy in the world right now because everybody's mad. Everybody's pissed off. Everybody's blaming somebody for something. It's us versus them. It's left versus right. It's me versus you. And we're all buying into the division. We're all buying into the separateness. And we pop online. How many of us spend all day online? I'm online. We pop online and we go into Facebook, go into Instagram, go into YouTube. 
which is the worst. We drop down in those comments and we see people arguing and tearing each other down and we can think. We're being led to believe this is life. This is humanity. This is what the world is. And for lightworkers, people who are in connection with and understand that they're here with light, it can be a very isolating feeling to feel like you're the only person who's not fighting or doesn't want to fight. Why is everybody fighting? Why is this world so crazy? I don't belong here. How many of you have said that? I don't be I'm, I'm from another planet or something. I'm an alien because these people don't represent me. It's pretty scary out there on the internet, but that's not real. It's not. We're real. Love is real. And we are the only ones who can do something about this icky, sticky energy of divisiveness. Man versus woman, woman versus man, black versus white versus Asian, all this arguing. We can get all embroiled in the battle, but it's useless. The only thing that matters is love. The only thing that matters is kindness. And that's what you came to do. You came here to be kind and to love and to shine your light. And I just want everybody to understand that we can all do our part. I often tell my students, if you were born at this time in Earth's history, then you better believe you came here to do something. You came here to at least hold space for people so that they can shift. But you probably came here to heal. You probably came here to inspire. You probably came here to say the right thing to the right person at the right time. Like you came here for a reason because we're going through a massive shift in consciousness. A lot of people in the New Age community get kind of caught up in this word ascension. And I used to talk a lot about ascension because I do believe we are ascending insofar as our baseline signature energy-wise, it's raising, it's ascending, it is going higher. In the third, re, third dimensional reality in which we exist, we are trending towards the outer limits, which are the octaves. I like to call them the rainbow octaves. We're trending towards the outer limits of 3D, heading into 4D, and that's when things get super kooky, and that's when things get super evidential. That's where we are now. We're shifting. We're supposed to do this, and it's not just us in our dimension. It's everyone in 4D, and there's a lot of beings there. It's every being in 5D. It's all the energy in 6 and in 2 and in 1. We're all shifting as a universe, as a, as a construct, as an infrastructure. We are shifting in vibration. We, we're going to go whether we want to or not. It's happening. And if you were born at this time in Earth's history, well, you came here to help this to happen. We need you. We need you now more than ever. And so I like to speak to those who feel alone. I like to speak to those who feel like an outlier, like nobody gets you. I like to speak to those who feel like they feel so much all the time, that they are being overwhelmed and short-circuited. I can't deal with this life, man, anymore. I don't see the hope. And I like to speak to those people because that's a symptom of your spirituality. That's a symptom, a sign that you're actually connected more deeply than you could ever know. And you have to lean into that. You have to say yes to that. You, you have to be curious about that. Don't you know that spirit is always offering itself to us and saying, hey, look at all this possibility. Look at all these resources we have over here, and they're all yours if you only look for them and then ask for them. Because if we ask, we receive. If we seek, we find. If we knock, what? The door is open. That's, that's a spiritual principle. That's a universal principle. It's how it, it's how it works. But too many of us are overwhelmed. Too many of us are grief-stricken, lost, angry. So many of us are angry. Triggered, right? Too many of us are caught up in fighting the power, fighting this, or fight. we're fighting. We're fighting. Too many of us. Too many of us are not understanding who it is that we truly are. Now is the time to shine that light. Just like Christ said, 
Don't go hiding it under a bushel. Let that light shine. What do you got? What's your little, what's your little magic? What's your talent? Is it music? Is it writing? Is it cooking? Is it, is it encouraging people? Is it helping people? Is it charity? What is it? Now is the time for us to come together because only when we come together are we going to make any difference in this icky, sticky, dense world that feels like it's going off the rails on a crazy train. The world feels like it's getting darker and worse and most of us are wondering what's going to happen next. Well, it depends on you. It depends on me. It depends on what we do with the light that we have within us. We've got to shine that light. We've got to be there for one another. We've got to do this work together. I would have, well, I wouldn't have killed, but I would have, I would have just loved to have a community like the Lightworkers Lab when I was coming up and when I was getting out of religion and when I was all freaked out because I was seeing spirits again and I was seeing stuff around, energy around people and I was seeing, I was having visions and strange dreams. I would have loved to have a community of people who said, oh yeah, no, that's okay. That's normal. It's natural. Here's what it means. Here's what you do. And here's how you can take that to the next level. I would have just loved it. Didn't have it though. And as a result, I created it, and I want to invite you to the Lightworkers Lab. Go to your search bar, type in the Lightworkers Lab. It's a group. All you have to do is ask to join. You'll have access to all the teaching, all the reading, all the healing, and much, much more. I want to invite you to come and join us. I love each and every one of you. It's time for a glass of wine. It's time for me to get a glass of wine. So on that note, I wish you nothing but love, and I hope to see you soon again. Bye, everybody.